at the Samples, Hodgson Brothers, and Gowdy and Stevens shipyards in East Booth Bay Harbor, Maine, as at other yards up and down the coast. Veterans at the art of constructing ships of wood are at it again, building wooden ships for the Navy's iron men. Neither custom nor shortage of steel dictated the use of wood, for the ships they're building are mine sweepers, and steel ships set off magnetic mines. It was fortunate that Uncle Sam could turn to shipyards and craftsmen whose experience dates back to the days of the clipper ships. One technique they've developed that's brand new, though, is the use of laminated wood in place of the solid timbers that used to go into our wooden fighting ships. Many layers of wood have been glued together under heat and pressure to form the intricately shaped parts of the ship, parts that will have many times the strength of unlaminated wood of the same dimension. Even the keel was made of 30 separate planks instead of the traditional one big beam. Here it's prepared for the first of the side planks that will be set in place after all the rib frames have been installed. 165 feet long and 35 feet wide, these are some of the biggest ships built of wood in many years. The side planking goes on. Although the ship has now taken on the appearance of a ship, a lot remains to be done before it's ready for sea. The power plant and superstructure must be finished off, and only then will the fitting out be started. The equipping of the ship with all the armament, communications equipment, and other gear required by a modern naval vessel. The planking must still be caulked as it was generations ago. But there are new methods now for sealing the caulking with a rubber compound, making it unnecessary to repeat the process anywhere near as often as formerly. And so another minesweeper is readied for the men whose motto is, where the fleet goes, we've been. <laughs> 